Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a different look. Um, I've been talking about the grayscale eyeshadows that have come out uh, lately, and so I thought that I really wanted to go ahead and do some uh, looks with some of the grays and so I hope that you'll come along and we'll get started and let's see I have the Glow Oil by Supergoop in SPF 50 here. Um, I did go ahead and mix the uh, let's see the Oma by Sharon C. This is the Oma the drugstore version you can get it on her website and I took T2, well Fair Lady T2, I mixed it with the ColourPop uh, 53 Cool and so uh, two pumps of this to one pump of this and that's how I went ahead and got the look today. I did go ahead and use the Incognito uh, and this is the concealer by Wet n Wild as far as what I used there. The ColourPop, let's see, Sunset Strip as far as my blush and um, I did go ahead and top it with the again another ColourPop. This is Dancing Queen. So actually let me get both of these here. Probably help to see them together. So this is, uh, this is a cream so I went ahead and put this on first and then the powder over the top of it. And then I did go ahead and top it with the Master Chrome by Maybelline, and this is in Molten Peach. So uh, this is the highlighter. And actually, I went ahead and used it as a general blush topper, not just as a highlighter. So yeah, I put a lot on because I like it. And then as far as what I did for lips, the ColourPop, this is the Twice Shy, and it's the stain that they had, the lip stain. And then I went ahead and used the Baby Gloss, and this one is in Wonder. So, yeah, these are what I have on there. And, um, yep, this is a Baby Gloss. It's really brown, and it did go ahead and take a more peach and turn it into a peachy brown here. So, yeah. That's what I did there. As far as what I went ahead and used on the eyes, and I started thinking about this um, when all the grays started coming back, and I started going through the palettes that I have that have gray in them. And some of them actually aren't newer palettes. The one that I went ahead and used today is a Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral. And this is still available. It's available on the Alta website and on the Juvia's Place website. And this is how it looks. Um, I did go ahead and get a look that has a pop of silver in there actually a pop of two silvers in there. Um, but what I went ahead and did was I started with this in the crease and then I took this um, shimmer and I went ahead and uh, used it both in the crease and on the brow bone. Uh, this I went ahead and used on the inner corner. I used it from the inner corner all the way up to the top of the brow and I also used this uh, right under the brows brow highlight right there. As far as what I have on for the silver, I did go ahead and I actually put this, the darker one on the outer corner and then this one right in the middle of the lid. So that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and use this color right here um, under the eye as an eyeliner. And let's see, the Tartlet uh, Mascara by Tarte, I have that on, and I do also have the Oma by Sharon C. This is their uh, brow, it's a brow tint and a brow crayon, yeah. So um, I have this on the eyebrows, and then as far as the way that the look actually turned out, so the, yeah, the gray is really popping, um, but 
a lot of times as far as working with gray it's just easier to go ahead and mix it with something that has a lot of color in it and so that's what some of these palettes have been doing um, to go ahead and get gray to work as a color instead of it kind of takes over it really does want to take over so let me go ahead and I'm going to grab a couple of other palettes that I have that have gray in them and I'll be right back okay so I'm back and I have some uh, palettes that have some gray colors or some gray tones in them and first off um, Colourpop the Troublemaker palette and so this one does have a whole bunch of grays uh, the burgundies go really well with it in this palette and uh, the pink for a pop of the color and again a really pretty um, so again Troublemaker is that palette this one I know isn't available anymore but it's Twist of Slate by Colourpop Again, a palette that has some really pretty gray in it as well. And uh, some blue and some slate. So, why well, they called it Twist of Slate, huh? Uh, the Sakura by Alter Ego. And so this one has um, a whole bunch of... Um, they usually go more teal, but I don't know. I think they go gray as well. So I'm including it in this one. And uh, this one's by Alter Ego as well. It's just some of the teal shades are so light that they kind of go gray. The gray or pewter or kind of like that. And then another ColourPop palette. This one came out about a month ago. Um, it's probably closer to two to three months ago. It's called uh, Cloud 9 by ColourPop. And it has some really pretty grays in there as well. So, uh, yeah. So, um, just working with gray in a grayscale palette is really difficult. Because, I mean, you can get maybe one, maybe if you really pressed it, you could get up to maybe five looks with it. Um, but having gray and mixing it in with other colors, um, again, I think the Juvia's Place, the Nubian 3 Coral, they really took a chance, and they really have a classic palette that goes ahead and mix colors that you wouldn't necessarily think could go together. And um, it's just, it's sort of... Uh, different working with gray because like I said before gray just sort of wants to take over the whole look and you sort of have to tame it down a little bit you know I have one more palette uh, the Aurora Struck by Colourpop and this has some great gray tones in it as well if you are into the mega palettes uh, this gray over here is one of those Colourpop grays that just makes you go yep I need to do a look with that but um, yeah these are it also has some tones that you would normally think would go with gray all the cool colors and um, so yeah I think that um, well Colourpop just does gray really well and other companies do gray but they don't necessarily do it as often um, again the Juvia's Place I would definitely highly recommend uh, just sort of doing something totally different with gray and um, so yeah that's a video I hope you, that you've enjoyed it I hope it gave you some ideas on how to work with gray with other colors instead of just a gray a uh, grayscale palette that you can put gray with other colors and it's really good for a pop right there and you can definitely blend it where it doesn't take over the whole look and so these were some of the palettes that I thought really did that well so um, I'll see you later and thank you and have a great day bye